What's up, y'all? So Danny Lay and her three-month-old baby get kicked out of the baby's crib. All right, um, we got to speak about this. Uh, we I have a lot to say after y'all see the damn um intro, but child, let's get into the intro because I'm already getting cussed out and I ain't even do nothing. Let's get into it because I'm I'm really sick of it. That's the wrong intro, but we keeping it. So listen, first of all, what's up y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell yeah, Lee. So y'all please make up, make sure you spam up my emotes. What the goddamn hell yeah, Lee. All right, that's how we introduce each other. That's how we speak to each other. That's how we hug each other. That's how we dap up. What the goddamn hell yeah, you dig what I'm saying? If you don't like what I'm saying on this video, if you have an issue with me skipping the video, the original creator has already created a video to this. The door. All right, y'all, please spam up the door for me. Y'all can go watch the original video from the original creator. Also, um, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Follow me on Twitch at Royalties World CEO. You dig what I'm saying? And hell yeah. All right, so. I, I, I used to go to school with the baby. All right. I always say that. And I will forever say that because I'm just so proud of him. I'm from Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he, I'm proud of him. Right. Wait, before you even come for me. Cause y'all already in here coming for me. I'm not, I'm not even talking about the chat. I'm talking about y'all who watching the video. Quit skipping it. Quit skipping it. I ain't even said nothing yet. All right. I have said in the past, the baby can do no wrong. Right? I have. I really, really have. Uh, but in this situation, um, in this situation, he's wrong for several reasons. Okay? I also feel like Danny Lay has some wrong too. <laughs> She's just not going to be innocent. But... Let's get into it. <laughs> Appreciate the bits. Royalty. Y'all know we ain't doing that music because it's probably a copyright or whatever. But Danny Lay, uh, her three month old got kicked out. Okay, so. All right, here we are. Thank you. Where's he at? Where's he at? Yeah, whatever. He want to call the fucking cops on me for whatever the f reason. Whatever. Stupid. My three month old baby. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. No, I don't need to tell you nothing. Nah, you good. You can talk to him because he want to call you back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Ain't nobody need to talk to nothing. Go ahead. I want to say this. I don't know because we, clearly we wasn't there, bro. I don't know. If she was fighting him, I don't know if she was um, been abusive before, which he actually said that she has been um, abusive. I want y'all to, to know that men can be abused too. Now, the only reason why I say that is because if he would have put his hands on her, he would have been wrong, right? So in that case, that's probably why he called the police. However, I would not have called the police on my fucking baby mama. And I wouldn't have called the police on my baby mama with my three-month-old baby there. Okay, that that right there was some trifling shit. And this is why he got a whole lot of money. Okay, he has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. He don't have to be there. You get what I'm saying? Now, as many people as he got around him, I just don't feel like there's no way he could have been held against his will to the point where he felt like he had to call the police. I just can't get with that. And for several reasons. We black. He probably looked at her like she ain't all the way black, but <laughs> jokes. Uh, we black. You call the police these days. That phone call might be the worst phone call you ever made ever. Okay. So I wouldn't have made a phone call. I would have left. I simply would have left. Okay. So in that, in that case, he's absolutely entirely ridiculously wrong. Okay. Number two, 
on Danny, on Danny Lay's side. Sis is not broke, y'all. She is not a chick that has like uh like like she's not making money or like she doesn't have um like she's not established or whatever. You know? She has money. So why she decided to uproot her life and go move where he wanted her to move to and does, let him be the person that pays for everything? I wouldn't have never did no shit like no, 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 hell no. I wouldn't have never did no shit like that. Because for one, I got my own bag. Hm. I'll pay for myself. For two, if he already wasn't helping with you with the baby, uh, why the fuck you move anyway, okay? For three, if you want to see your baby, you bring your ass to where I'm at. I'm at LA, at, in, in my house. If you want to see your baby, you pull up. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like on that end, that's what she should have done. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this shit stupid all together. Hey, Unnecessary. Ahead. Uncalled for. Out, yeah, know, whatever. Big ass, big It's all good. It's all good. Took. Ain't nobody need to talk to nothing. Go ahead. Guys, let me let me let you know real quick what the is up. Because this is the one put up a statement. 10 minutes after the he done got into a fucking argument because he wants to walk into this room talking about, oh, you need to get out with our three month baby. The fuck? I yeah, I ain't never addressed no sh I ain't never addressed nothing before because I always was like, nah, let me not talk to the internet because the internet is always gonna make their own story up, whatever the fuck they gonna. Girl, cause the internet is not here to help you. <laughs> the, the internet is not here to help you. Here's my thing with her. Y'all, I just don't feel like he went in the house and was like, you got to go for no reason. I also, I want to put this out there. I also feel like this has a lot to do with postpartum for both of them. Now, for him to go in the house and tell his baby mama and his three-month-old baby to get out is some wild shit, okay? And as much as he take care of his other kids, I just don't see him abandoning his kids unless... This is one of them I hate my baby mama situations. Fuck the kid. You know, they like, fuck them kids. Okay. I just don't know if that's the situation. But this is a, 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 I feel like this is a terrible case of postpartum, especially the way she's acting and the fact that he's acting just as bad. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna grab a little piece and put whatever story the fuck they want together. But nah, how, how I've been living here for. And she didn't tell us nothing. She did not say, all right, bro, listen, I was doing blah, blah, blah. He came in the house and told me to get out. Like, oh, she said that she bought a plan B is actually what happened. She brought a plan B and she said the nigga told her to get out because I guess she wanted to take the plan B to not, you know, have another child because she said he keep nothing in her or something. Like, y'all, this is, this is a lot. Okay. <laughs> For the past three months at his house at his penthouse back and forth here and there since my baby was born and then all of a sudden i cook for this tonight he want to come to the crib i am sleeping in his bed talking about you need to go the fuck? you mean i need to go to a five-star hotel do it do it the fuck? ain't nobody fucking leaving and of course she escalated and this want to put up a statement talking about Oh, it saddens me that I have a queen to raise Fuck you. You ain't even been here this whole time that I've had this child. Fuck you. You want to give cute little conversations talking about you a good ass dad. You the Fuck you. Fuck you. You a fucking coward. She never said he was a bad dad. Like, I truly don't think that she thinks that. And I think she knows he's not a bad dad. But the thing is, I think he just didn't want to be around her. Or like I said, this is a huge case of postpartum. You a fucking coward. You a mother coward. Also, sorry. All them pictures she put up and all them videos. I don't want to say the O word. I don't want to say the O word. But the nigga said he didn't want you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't put out all these pictures and videos and he's saying he don't want you. She made herself look, in, look even more crazy. Okay? God. 
Damn, bro. Appreciate the resale, weirdo. And it's unfortunate that it's on the fucking internet because, oh, okay. You're the idiot. One minute, 37 seconds later. <laughs> I feel like I need to go on live because at this point it's already out there and I feel like I'm hard. never gonna speak on this shit ever again and I feel like I might as well just let that go and I just feel like it's so unfair this situation because Ari they could have been together the nigga clearly be wanting a woman around him okay but what I'm saying is y'all this is where y'all some of y'all don't like what I say in these cases with women. But the reason why I say these things is because women got a whole day on too. Y'all, this is, she's not a broke woman, man. She uprooted her entire life to come live with him and be up under his rules. Right or wrong, bro? Right or wrong? No, ma'am. She didn't set the boundaries and that's the issue. Y'all let these niggas just got down, say what they want to say, do what they want to do. You, yes, I bet, daddy, the hell, head ass. <laughs> like, no, I'm rich, nigga. I'm going to get my own shit. Excuse me. I'm already in my own shit, nigga. I don't need your money. I don't, I don't need you to get me a penthouse. Fuck your penthouse. Me and my baby going to be in L.A. And guess what? You got that 30000 Yeah, you can fly you on, yourself on a jet. Y'all. If a nigga ain't helping you your entire pregnancy, hello, he not helping you your entire pregnancy. Why did the you, the door, I mean, why did you think if you moved with him, it was going to get better? I did. It's only so much blame you can put on a nigga, man. They wrong. They already wrong, to be honest with you. That nigga wrong. But what about the woman uh, is what I be saying. Y'all, I am a woman, and at the end of the day, I cannot let somebody control my life. Fuck no. No. So I got to stand on that shit. Bruh, you uprooted your entire life, and you are rich. You're not broke, okay? I want to make that clear. This is not a situation where she's like, oh, my God, I got to get out, and I don't have no money to get a hotel. Some people get kicked out and don't have no money to really go nowhere at all, okay? Let's be clear. Y'all, she not broke. <laughs> okay? This woman is not broke. I just, I cannot. Okay? This was not a situation for her to be crying. This was the time to be, I'm out. You know the power she had? Do y'all know the power she had? The power is the baby. Okay? Women rule all. Why do y'all forget that? I, I don't get that. Women rule all. Pussy rule the world. Okay? Bitch, uh, let me tell you something. I'm going to go ahead and call me a black car for me and my baby. All right? We're going to go ahead and head on to the airport or I have somebody drive us there, whatever we need to do. Matter of fact, I would have got me a five-star hotel. Black car, five-star hotel. Flight. For in the morning, me and my baby going to the airport, and we're going to take our ass back to L.A. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to make sure my publicist, my uh, whoever is running my empire to get my apartment or my house while I'm in the air. Okay, when I get there, I better have me a crib, nigga. And for some of them, it's that simple because money talk over bullshit. Y'all, I've had zero money and I've made shit happen all the time, okay? This woman is rich. This was not the time for you to be crying. And don't get me wrong, because postpartum is a motherfucker. So I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely think this have a lot to do with postpartum. But bro, she could have left, guys. She didn't have to put up a fight. She could have embarrassed him, yes, but at the same time been gone, okay? Period. I just. This whole time, I've been I nothing just, but straight with this man. And. Excuse me, she already has a house in LA? Then what are we talking about? Tried. Tried. You know what I'm saying? Tried. Nothing but genuine, pure love for this man from the jump.
from the jump three years ago from the fucking jump and of course all this internet bullshit all this everything always was something in our relationship and it's definitely unfortunate we have a child so it's just like it's just very unfortunate but i just it ain't fair my whole doll face a lot of people always say they don't want to leave because of stuff girl she rich buy some more this would be the time to use that rich card. They don't, have y'all noticed they always use the rich card at the wrong time? You be talking about nothing. Yeah, because I'm, you know, I'm rich and you know what I'm saying? I'm rich. Everybody talk about they rich till it's time for you to really do some rich nigga shit. I would never understand that about rich people. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Everything, y'all. Most people, all they need is a couple dollars to get the hell out of their situation. Y'all know that? Like, yo, bro, I'm trying to tell you, boy, boy, if I had some money right now, I'd get the hell up out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like she begging to stay. Think I'm a fucking bird because of this man. It. Like, y'all think I did this and that. Like, nah, it was never that. It was never that. And I ain't here to clear nothing with nobody because I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about me. But Are you sure, friend? At the end of the day, like, I've never spoken on anything. I've never addressed anything because... I didn't want to bring attention to it, but it's always the narrative on what it is because they think this is the type of girl I am and this is that. Nah. So, nah, this is the. How old is she, Blaze? And. Yeah. The thing is, Clark, she knew that the baby was smashing his other baby mama. She knew that, y'all. She knew, she knew all this shit, bro. <sighs> I don't know where, bro. I don't know where. She loved this nigga. <sighs> And I'm trying so hard. Mimi know how to play her position respectfully. This the thing. If you in a situation where you got to play your position, be Mimi. If you in a position and you don't you don't want to play that position, don't be Danny Lay. <laughs> like, bruh, listen, man. Mimi decided she was going to play her position. Mimi said, okay, I know this nigga a hoe. I know he a hoe. And uh, he take good care of my kids. He take good care of me. I'm going to deal with the shit. That's what Mimi said. In his songs, y'all, all he talk about him, it, it, uh, all he says about himself is being a hoe. I mean, I, mean, I don't understand why everybody's so surprised. I don't get it. Mimi only has two kids, by the way. Two. And she's about to have a third one. But... Two of them is by the, the baby, okay? <laughs> I tried to just, I tried to make this work. I tried to, you know, for my baby, the best oh. situation, but this ain't the best situation at all, bro. Yeah, I think at it's postpartum, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I deserve so much better. I really do. So I hope God, Please, I pray that this is the last situation. This is the last time because this is not it. It's not. Every single time I come back into it, it's Also, y'all remember, Mimi was just doing this shit last year. Don't forget. Mimi was just doing this same shit last year. Don't forget. And she was the one who was laughing. Come on, y'all. She was the one who was laughing. Don't call the cattle black, black calling the cattle now. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not it. It's love. I feel bad for postpartum. Yes, Mimi did respond. But Mimi learned how to play her position. That's what I'm telling you, smart. Mimi learned, okay? Listen, her... I only feel bad if it's postpartum. I'm not even going to lie. I really think that this is a huge case of postpartum. Appreciate the bitch, y'all. I really think this is a huge case of, of postpartum. 
But just last year, she was laughing at Mimi. Okay? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting y'all know. Because I completely love that man, but it's not it. It don't matter how much you love somebody. If it, if it ain't right, it's he never going to be right. He don't want you! Someone's not ready for something. He don't want her, y'all. And that's the part I can't feel bad for because he done told her. He done told her. He don't want her. It's time for her to move on. Girl would have been on another rapper nigga quick. I don't understand these women. However, once again, if that's postpartum, this shit is different. Okay? Because I do not want to act like postpartum not real. I don't want to show any women any disrespect. I want y'all to know I, I genuinely know postpartum ain't no bitch. I never went through it, but I understand that that shit is crazy crazy on your on your body on your mental i get that so if this is postpartum i feel terrible for her but y'all that man don't want her he don't want her she's talking more about loving him than the baby part if y'all haven't noticed like i mean the actual baby like the child and it's never gonna be right not you him. can't force somebody to be ready for something they're not ever gonna be ready for he don't want he's okay you, with man. having five six but baby mother's like nah i was brought up different i ain't mm -mm. You already knew ain't he going. had you he had two baby mamas before you uh, he already had two baby mamas nick your mind said a dude you're moving like a dude that and sensitive female but i feel you nah see you didn't even say anything about what i said about the woman's side me as a woman, I'm grown. I have to hold my own, honey. She got a place. You never uproot your, you never uproot your dwelling for a man. <laughs> That's the woman coming out of me. I don't know what y'all talking about. My mama always told me don't ever deal with no suck ass nigga, bro. My mama taught me that early. Okay? Early. Don't ever. Let no man control how you live. Ever. <laughs> so I don't understand why we don't speak about that part when I say that. Everybody wants to get so emotional for the woman, and that's cute. But this is not a, a broke woman. She is rich. Do you understand that? She can move however she needs to. She has the means. So that part I can't feel sorry for. She can move. She don't have to be there. She wants to be because she wants him. But I don't, I can't, I can't be on the side of a woman that let a man dog her. I can't be on her side. No. Because that bitch never. Uh -uh. I'm not going to uproot my dwelling for a man. Uh, ever. You, you, you understand? And me as a woman, I take care of my dwelling. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I, over here, I, I hold everything down. You know? So, I can't relate. You want me to be okay with certain sh I ain't going. So, I will get out. I will leave. I don't even have a place. Some of y'all no should more. have a man mindset. I done dropped everything for my baby to have a good life and be in a nice for her to know her dad. But mm -mm. I dropped everything for my baby to have a good life when you can already offer her one yourself. And y'all want me to accept that shit? No. No, 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 no. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not accepting that. She could give her baby anything she need. It's a woman out here right now making ten dollars an hour. Her baby don't even know. Baby don't even know. Okay. <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't settle for that. Cause he don't want her. You get what I'm saying? He 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 don't want her. Y'all. Fuck him. How about that? That's what I'm telling y'all. Fuck the baby. Let that nigga do him. She need to do her. That's all I'm saying. This ain't a situation where he can do no wrong. He is wrong. But she is too. <laughs> like, period. I will go figure it out. Like I always have since I've it been was the young. go figure it out. Never depended like, on a man. Never nothing. I will figure this out. So. What do you have to figure out? 
Y'all, she not broke. I guarantee you she getting a check from ASCAP, which is Apple Music. She's not broke. I'll figure it out. I feel like she has dummied herself down. She done forgot who the fuck she was. She sounded like she's struggling with a job that don't pay enough. She, she sounds like she's struggling with mi minimum wage right now. I'm going to figure it out. Huh? <laughs> That's some shit people say when they really got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when you really got to figure it out. Like, bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. You got a, a, a nice bank account talking about I'm going to figure it out. All right. And that's it. I'm gonna keep. I ain't never brought this shit to the internet, but f it. I don't give a f. He wanna record me talking about I'm gonna have this, then put out a f statement 10 minutes after this shit is going on. Way too focused on him. The f clout. It's weird ass man. The f Cinderella, I'm not saying it's easy, but Cinderella, she ain't broke, honey. She's not. Cinderella, he, always, he already wasn't helping her friend. He wasn't helping already. So what, what was she losing? <laughs> we all just gonna have a different perspective on this. She says she doesn't have the, her home in LA anymore. Cause she said that she uprooted her dwelling for him. Y'all that's a problem. That's some weird right there. Like, you was planning this shit the fuck. So. Money don't have to make you happy, honey, but it can get her a place to stay. Y'all not getting where I'm coming from. I'm not saying she's... She, I'm not saying she's happy or unhappy. I'm saying that she is able to buy her a place to stay, y'all. And if the man is mentally abusing her, she can leave. Matter of fact, how about this? She's focusing on trying to get the love from him that she wants and needs, but he don't want to give it to her, y'all. So she needs to be focused on getting the fuck out. <laughs> I just... I, I think people want me to conform a lot when it comes to women going through situations like this, cause the masses, the masses supports the woman, which is okay. In some situations, the woman should be <laughs> supported, period. The women should be supported in a lot of situations. I would never take that away from any woman. In this situation, he don't, want her she has the money to buy a place and if y'all were to tell me she don't then y'all crazy even if she can afford where the hell we live she can go get her a two-bedroom apartment if she ain't getting a penthouse <laughs> it's just it be too much politicking and shit when it comes to women. And a lot of people don't see where I'm coming from and think that I'm talking bad about the woman, but I'm not. And think that I'm being insensitive, but I am not. This ain't a sensitive situation. This ain't a, a situation for you to be sensitive. She gonna have to pick her nuts up respectfully, bro. <laughs> respectfully. He really, really, really got online and disrespected her. He called her ass a side bitch. Had zero respect for her and wanted to put my three-month-old baby out? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not about to sit here and talk about how I love you and shit after you try to put my three-month-old baby out. Because this ain't about you no more. This about my fucking baby. So, y'all, this ain't a case of she's feeling emotional about the baby. She's emotional about the adult baby, Okay. She, she wants the man. He don't want her. Do y'all get what I'm saying? He don't want her.
Y'all. That's it. I can't watch no more of this one. I got three other videos to watch. Child talk for years. But I'm done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.